right hello everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm actually going to do kind of a little bit of a different kind of video but first i want to let you know that once again perfect keto is having a sale yes they have launched actually a new product which is another flavor for the barista blend and that is maple so make sure you check it out definitely take advantage of all i i mention their sales as much as i can because it's a great time to take advantage of their sales all the time. So for this sale, you actually, it's store wide and you get to buy two, get one free. So make sure you take advantage of that if you didn't last week for their last sale. And also make sure that you give that new Barista Blend a try. I haven't tried, I do have the white chocolate raspberry. I haven't even opened it yet. So let me know if you want to do a giveaway or if you want me to open up and try it because I'm open to do either actually. I love doing giveaways here on my channel. So let me know down below right now if you want me to try it or if you want me to do a giveaway and then definitely next week I will keep you guys updated on whichever one you guys choose that I do. Um, so I will also leave the link to the sale at Perfect Keto down below in my description. So take advantage of that sale as well. So I recorded a video actually last week, kind of like um, an Etsy work vlog. I know it's a little bit different from what my channel normally is, but that's what I'm kind of doing with my channel now. If you haven't already noticed is I am kind of mixing up my content a little bit. I'm still keeping you informed with my weight loss journey and how that is going, but I am mixing it up as far as including different things in my videos because um, I'm still learning on what exactly I'm doing. I'm trying to navigate through it. And right now I am doing macros. However, I don't want others to, you know, they're going to be judgmental anyways. However, I don't want to be judgmental on my macros, what I'm eating, because my channel has been kind of keto driven in the past. And I am making little changes to, to change that. So I'm not quite ready to be sharing those sort of information videos as far as what I'm eating and the macros that I'm eating every day and all of that because you know I did that once already in the last month or two and I got quite a bit of criticism for it and you know although I do push those comments aside I feel like it's just not what people want to see right now on my channel we're going to slowly kind of integrate into that so today I'm going to show you a little bit of an Etsy vlog a very quick Etsy vlog and this is what this is what I do all day. Um, yesterday actually was a day off for me because my dad came out to visit in the morning. So we had coffee and then I had to get my nails done and a pedicure done in the afternoon. And that always takes a long time. And by the time I got back home, I was tired. I was actually, you know, completely done for the day. And, you know, I only had a few orders that I need to do today to complete and get them out the door and mailed off today. So that's, there's actually four orders, but I completely finished one of them. So I have three more orders, which are pretty much close to done. Um, but I do want to show you a couple products that I have because I do get a lot of questions on here exactly um, what I what my Etsy shop is about. Um, I will leave the link to my Etsy shop down below in the description if anybody is interested. Um, that order actually that I got, I believe her name was Sherry I think it was Sherry or Sharon if you're watching thank you so much for your order you're gonna love how it turned out um so what she actually ordered it was a little bit of, of a spin of what I have right now that is pretty popular in my shop um which is the mini savings challenge this is what is popular right now I also have um the 100 envelope savings challenge binder which I will show you guys what that is all about but right now um this is kind of what's popular right now. It's a mini savings challenge. And then inside you have a tracker that is actually laminated and reusable. So what I do and what I prefer to do is I use a Sharpie and once I fill in like $5 or $10 in this challenge, you will mark off with a Sharpie and fill in the circle to let you know that you've completed it to give you kind of motivation to let you know, you know, I'm halfway done or I'm almost done or, you know, you're putting in money towards saving for what, whatever. This is a $300 challenge, kind of a mini one. I have uh, 20 pouches that are $5 and 20 pouches that are $10, which equal $300. So it's all there on the tracker. So this is a great way to save 
I know a lot of people will say, well, you know, you don't need this to save money. Of course you don't. You don't need to, but it's definitely motivating. And by using the cash stuffing system and method, it's definitely motivating and you can see where your money goes and you can actually save physical money rather than, you know, oh, I'm going to I'm going to transfer it over to my savings. Not a problem. Like a lot of us don't really transfer five dollars into our savings account. And if you do, that's wonderful as well. But this these are just products that are, are motivational and inspiring for you to save money and to become debt free. I have raved about this method and that's what Jimmy and I use to become totally 100 percent debt free no payments oh no not no money no nothing so highly recommend it but um this is quite popular right now so what she had ordered um she had ordered some of my a7 size cash wallets which are these actually in this color as well and she wanted to have that mini savings challenge done in this binder as well as one of these bigger binders that I have. So I did come up with something and it is mailed off. I mailed it actually a few days ago. So hopefully you should be receiving it by the end of next week. They turned out so good. She ordered two of these binders and she ordered four of these binders. I'm presuming that you're going to be giving them away as gifts. They turned out amazing, absolutely amazing. I'm actually thinking about doing that as like a savings challenge and launching it in my shop in a couple of weeks because it turned out so good. So that is kind of the one thing that is pretty popular right now. I usually do up about 12 or 15 of these every week and they sell out within the week. So very popular right now in my shop. And then the other thing that is very popular and this is what made me go viral. I remember when I was talking about how busy I was in um, December going into January, February, and even into March was these binders. So these, it, this is a 100 envelope savings challenge binder. So it has um, 100 pouches that is labeled 1 through 100. And now the, the object of this is not to do it every day or even every week or you, know, you can do it however often, however often your budget allows. I try to do two a week because I want to save over $5,000 in a year. And once every pouch is complete, that's what you would save. So I haven't put the tracker in this one. I just have to finish this order. But this is the tracker that will go inside of the binder. And it is hole punched and laminated. So it is reusable. But these are the numbers that are labeled 1 through 100. Once again, it's kind of motivational to see how far you're, you're going. You can you do random numbers. Like if you have an extra $25 in your wallet. <clears throat> And you can put it in your 100, 100 envelope savings challenge. So each pouch is labeled 1 through 100. Actually, this lady did it different. This is a bad example. <laughs> she did, this was a custom order. And I have to, that's what I, that's why I set this aside. Because this is a custom order and she actually did it in even numbers all the way to 200. Um, I'll show you this though. She did it in even numbers to save all the way to 200. So once she's done and completed this binder, she would uh, she'll save one no, she'll save $10,100 once she's completed this binder. This was a custom order. So this one here I haven't put the stickers, the vinyl on the front yet, but this one here is a 100 envelope savings challenge binder. And it is all labeled, all the pouches are labeled 1 through 100 as you can kind of see here. And the dollar or the amount that it says on the pouch is how much you put in it. So for example, pouch number one, you put in a dollar, pouch number two, you put in two dollars. And as you can see here, it's kind of like a little pocket um, that you would put your cash into. So another reason why I like doing the tracker is because some people aren't comfortable. We have a safe at home that I put all of my, my binders into, but some people just aren't comfortable having that amount of cash in their house, which I totally understand. Um, so that's another good reason to have a tracker and to um, you know, let you know what pouch you filled just in case, in case you reach like a thousand dollars, you're like, okay, I want to deposit this into the bank. Now I don't feel comfortable. Then at least you can see which ones that you have done to continue on with your challenge. So that is, um, what went viral on TikTok. Um, uh, I got like 1.3 million views on that TikTok and it was unbelievable. I was selling, about 30 to 40 of these every single week and they take a long time to make because I have to you know print off all the vinyl I have to weed it I now have part-time people to do that but it's still a lot of work to complete so that's what I was busy doing during that time so 
Today, what I need to do is I need to create a tracker for this custom made 100 envelope challenge um, because I don't, that's not like a common order that I get. So I do have to create um, a tracker for that with the denominations to say two, four, six, eight, ten, etc. And then I need to weed the vinyl. This here, you probably won't be able to see it, but um, it does have all of the vinyl that I need to weed and put on the, the binders that, to look like this. So that is what I need to do today. Um, and another order that I need to do is a custom order. And she just ordered, she wanted different colors for her 100 envelope savings challenge binder. So she wanted black and white. It's a pink binder that she ordered and she wanted black and white vinyl for the outside of the binder and then she wanted different colors for the numbers that go on the pouches. So that once again is a custom order. Um, I normally don't offer that, but the great thing about this is I have probably 10 colors of binders to choose from, as well as you can choose what color of vinyl that you want. And I probably have 20 colors of vinyl to choose from as well. So you can customize your own binder as well as change the denominations. I've had a lot of people, um, I actually just mailed it off, but I had also um, a $10,000 challenge go viral where all of the pouches are labeled $100. So you have 100 pouches that are labeled $100 each and that once completed, you will save $10,000. So that was another thing that was popular, but those are custom orders that I don't, you know, that I do charge a little bit extra because obviously I don't have, like, I have to create a new tracker. You know, I have to use different vinyl, just those sort of things is a little bit extra. So that is what I'm going to do right now. So let's get to finishing these orders and get them to the post office today. It has been about two or three hours later, I would say, and I got done all three of the orders that need to go out in the post office today. So let's show you these three orders. And this was the one I was talking about that she wanted it in different colors. So she ordered the pink binder with, she wanted black and white writing on the outside. So I did the um, spine in black and then did the front black and white. And then she wanted a mixture of the pink, pink, black, and white for all of the fonts inside. So what I did, which was easiest for me, um, I just put like the first 30 numbers were all pink, the next 30 numbers were all black, and then the last 40 numbers were all white. That was like kind of the best I could do because there was no way for me to do like pink, black, white, pink, black, etc. Like it just wasn't feasible. Um, so I hope she likes that and it turned out really cute actually. I love that idea. That was really, really cute. Then she has the laminated tracker, which is reusable. So that is all hole punched and laminated for her and love how that turned out. So I will package that up and send that off. The next one that I was showing you is the tracker that I needed to do. This was another custom order and she had ordered to do even numbers, um, which was two to 200 because she wanted to save um, $10,000, 10000 and 11, $10,100 in total. So I had to do a, a brand new tracker. So this is all even numbers two all the way through 200 to match all of the, um, the pouches that she has here, which is all even numbers as well, two to 200. So that was a great idea as well. I love seeing all these ideas that come through my Etsy, short, Etsy store. So that is all done and ready to go. And then these were the 200 envelope savings challenge binders. Plus she ordered one of the mini savings challenge um, little books as well too. So that is one order. So I'm just gonna package up these three and we are gonna head to the post office. I'm not sure how much work I'll do. Um, I'm probably just gonna like organize. So I think what I'm going to do for the rest of today is I'm just gonna organize the orders cause today is Friday when I'm recording this. And I'm hoping actually to maybe get this up um, right away today. 
And um, then I think the rest of the day will be just organizing orders because I still have, I think, 53 open orders that I need to do. Um, and my turnaround time is one week to two weeks um, because I get orders every day. So I always do them in like chronological order according to date as I receive them. So if you order today, I probably won't do it, you know, for another week, week and a half because I do already have 53 orders that I need to, to do. Uh, so I'm just going to organize those probably. Zoe is, this is her last week. <laughs> so sad um, because she will be moving next weekend so probably next Friday or sometime when we, whenever we hear back that week she can move in is when we'll be moving her um, but I want to make sure that I get stuff done that she can do for me that's going to save me time because I right now I don't think I'm going to hire somebody because like I said that person would have to be here with me in the office and I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not. Um, you know, just because like I live in such a small community, there isn't people probably from Medicine Hat that would drive and work for me because it is a half an hour away. And I don't know anybody in the community that isn't already working, you know, a job. So we'll see how that works out um, as far as like my workload. But I'm going to kind of take the month of May to decide that. And then if it's still busy for me, I may have to hire somebody like in-house to work for me as well, too. So We'll have to see about that, but I want to make sure that I get stuff done that she can do for me in the next week to for me to kind of keep on top of, of things and my orders and my trackers. Like those are things that she can do um, for me and the weeding and stuff like that. So that's probably what I'm going to do. I think probably the rest of today, I will have to work on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Um, I pretty much work every day unless I am planning to go away. Um, like if I plan on taking a day or two off, then I try to get my orders done that need to go out prior to those days so that I can enjoy my time away. But I will not be going anywhere, but it is our anniversary this weekend. So Jimmy and I have been married for four years, April 23rd. So oh that is no. exciting. Jimmy, stop eavesdropping. <laughs> and uh, so we are going to be going out for supper actually on the Saturday because where we like to go, where we've been going, Jimmy actually took me there on our first date 14 years ago, I believe. And it is just a steakhouse that is in Medicine Hat. It's called the Beef Eater and they're closed Sundays and Mondays. So I made a reservation to go on Saturday. So we will be doing that tomorrow. But I am just going to package these all up so I can take them to the post office and they can be mailed. Post office. So I used to work in the post office from where we live and I quit a year ago to retire and everything, but they still haven't got their stuff together whatsoever. So um, the lady who I worked with, she works there still three days a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So if I have anything that need to, needs to go out, I usually go on those days because, you know, the other girls don't that are filling in Tuesdays and Thursdays don't know how to um, scan out like an outgoing parcel. So I usually actually go into town to mail my stuff, but I thought, you know what, today's Friday. I'm just going to go up to the post office, mail it quick because, you know, Bev is working, the lady who I worked with. She was not working today. It was one of the supervisors. So that's what they've been doing. They just been printing in supervisors, just literally for somebody to be in the post office, but they don't necessarily know um, the procedures of anything that goes has to do with the post office other than um, scanning out your mail. So if I got a parcel from Amazon. It was more vinyl for my business. Um, so they know how to like scan that out and give it to me, but they don't know how to send off parcels that I am sending. So, long story short, I'm on my way into Redcliffe, which is just like the little town before Medicine Hat. It's about 15 minutes away, but I wasn't planning on doing this. But unfortunately, I have to because these parcels need to be mailed off today. So, that is what I'm doing. And then I'm going straight back home and uh, kind of an inconvenience. But that's what happens when you live, you know, not in a city, right? It is what it is. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to drop those off and that should be it. All right, I am done. I have dropped off the parcels. They're scanned out and on their way. That is like, I don't like leaving things to the last minute, like the day that it needs to be shipped out, but sometimes it just goes that way because I am so busy. And like I said, yesterday was just kind of 
a day of not working. I didn't plan that, but um, I don't like, this was kind of cutting it close because it is now 420 and the mail leaves at, like at 430. So I was really cutting it close, but that is it. I am done. They are on their way. I think tonight I am just going to organize orders and then start fresh in the morning, call it a day because it was kind of a stressful day. I'll be honest. I feel like I didn't get a lot done, but at least I got those four orders done and out the door. So that is it. I'm going to close out the video here. I just wanted to do this video because I do get a lot of requests and questions on what my Etsy shop is and what I offer. So I wanted to do this quick little video to kind of show you guys. Please make sure that you check out my Etsy shop below. Um, they have, I do have, I do have a lot of items that may interest you, so feel free to check it out. I will leave the link in the description for you guys, and that is it. I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.